Hi, in this video I'm going to create an ASP.NET 5.0 MVC web application. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 for this particular project and I've started Visual Studio 2019. Now, as of today's date, my Visual Studio is updated all the way. I have the most current version of, of ASP.NET 5.0 installed. Um, I'm saying this because as Microsoft matures and it updates Visual Studio, these screens change all the time. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to read the screen and figure out what it is I'm doing. So quite often this screen changes, the next screen changes. Just read the screen, compare it to what I'm doing, and figure out what my goal was. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. And over here on the left are the stuff I use all the time. You'll find that the stuff that you use frequently appears here, but if you don't know what you're picking, for an ASP.NET 5.0, you want to pick C Sharp, All Platforms, and Web. Several choices appear. Um, the one I'm going to do today is ASP Core Net or Core Web App Model View Controller. This is the best if you want to connect to a database. The model is for data. The view are your web pages and how the users look at it. Controller is the interaction between you and the website. ASP Cornet Empty will allow you to build one from scratch. That's a lot of work. I really don't suggest that. So I'm picking ASP Net Core Web App. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to put it in a location wherever you want to put it. Just know where it is. Next it. Pick your target. Again, I'm in 5.0 current. 6.0 is in beta. If you want to download that and play with it, go right ahead. Um, 3.1 is good. 2.1 is kind of old. I would stay away from that. And I'm going to suggest enabling Razor rate Runtime Compilation. Now, if it doesn't tell you, it tries to help you here, but that really doesn't help you much. Um, Razor is the language that Microsoft is using along with C Sharp to create interactive websites. It's a very friendly language. It's HTML-like. Um, all the basic tags are HTML. It's the extensions within that change. And those changes are in your benefit. Razor is very cool. Um, what Razor Runtime Compilation allows me to do is add objects onto my screen in design time and just simply refresh the page. So I'm going to create this. And this can take a couple minutes depending on the speed of your machine. So just be patient. It does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. You'll know when it's done, when down here it finally says ready. Notice also here it's still doing stuff. It should be okay now. <clears throat> the first run takes a minute, so I'm going to run it right now. You can change the browser it comes out in with a little bit of effort. I'm simply going to hit the run here and pull up my default browser. I'm going to run off a local host with some random ports. And this is what you get, a bootstrapped web page with a working menu bar. All right, so let me show you the settings. And I did not stop that on purpose. When you go to Solution Explorer, which is a place you want to be all the time, we have model view controllers. Models are my data, view are the web pages, controllers are the interaction. Right now I'm going to mess with the view a little bit. I'm going to go to my home view and I see I've got index of CSHTML. CS is C Sharp, HTML is Hypertext Markup Language. So this is a CSHTML page. Double click that and open it up and it looks like HTML here, but this is C Sharp. I'm not going to mess with these today. Another, another video I'll mess with those. But I'm going to add something. So I put it in there, lead control is here, I save it, it's an H2, go back to my screen, refresh it, okay, it's taking a minute because it's refreshing and rewriting the code, so we'll just wait a moment, there we go, 
it automatically updated. Now that's a really big improvement over previous editions. And previously you'd have to stop the project and rerun it. If you're quote just making HTML changes, unquote, you don't have to stop and run. If you're making code changes, this cool little hotfix button here will apply the code. I've had miss, mixed success with that. Right. <clears throat> Last thing we'll show today is under the shared folder. You'll notice on my website, they all look the same. I've got a nice custom label down here, lines, menu bars the same, but you also notice that that's not here. That's because by default, your page is put into a layout page. And the layout page controls how the page looks. So this looks like your basic HTML page, right? Doc type HTML, head, body. Here is your menu bar. Again, this is bootstrappy. Here is your main. And this render body. makes the page appear. Sorry, somebody got me in Discord. So at render body displays what's in here. If you make a change on this page, and then give it a minute to update, come back to your page. Both pages have that layout. So if you need to make site-wide changes to menu bars, footers, what have you, you do it on the layout page and it updates across all your pages. You can have multiple layouts if you need to. When you're done, stop your program and you come back. All right. Thanks, guys. Good luck.